Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dwayne here at the Platinum Music Complex, man. I'm joined today here with Robert, Wiley, and Joey C. Jones, man. And uh, we're just going to kind of chill out today, man. I'm going to give the guys the opportunity just to tell you a little about their bands and uh, give a shout out to anything else that they might be doing, any upcoming shows, any CD releases they may be having. So, uh, man, we'll start out with Joey over here. Hey, I love this place. This, this is my first time being here. I'm so impressed. Everything's just uh, top notch. Everything's going great, great for me. So thrilled to be hanging out with, with IV Wiley Oliver. I love this guy so much. I'm his biggest fan. Of course, I'm a, I'm a huge Robert fan. And I would have told you what I thought of your uh, facility. Way to go! I appreciate it. I wish you the absolute best of luck. Thank you, thank you. So, so what, you got any uh, shows coming up in uh, in Dallas here? Yeah, uh, July seventh, the Joey C. Jones Band and my old buddies from Faster Pussycat. I've been doing shows with those guys since 86. It's been a long run. Uh, that set like up trees. Man, uh, one of the bands that I was with in the late 80s, early 90s, Shock 2, that was a band that recorded, uh, that was the only band that Rick Nielsen, Rob Zander, of Cheap Trick ever produced. We have a show in Columbus, Ohio on July the 14th. And uh, there was a really big band in the late 90s. They were on Casablanca Records. Along with Kiss was on that label. Angel. Angel. Yeah. Right. Why why didn't I see an Angel show come? It was Kiss, Angel, and the Gods, G O D Z. And since then, Mark Chatfield, he was kind of a music director of the Gods. He went on to do some stuff with Michael Bolton and he's been in Bob Seeger's Silver Bullet Band since eighty four. Uh, him and I decided to pay tribute to the Gods, because I'm from Ohio and the Gods are the biggest band ever out of there. So on October the 20th at the legendary Arosa Villa, and I believe we've added a second date, October the 21st. It's Mark Chatfield and Joey C. Jones, Jim Miller, Keith Pickens, Greg Wise. We are doing the best of the Gods and Rosie. And I'm pumped up about that because those are the bands that when I was like a real young kid that I just freaked out on. Awesome. I was a young kid in this little hillbilly town where Ohio meets West Virginia where every cousin's afraid the other cousin's going to have sex with them. <laughs> my cousins are not happy with me at all in those days. But uh, So I'm this kid growing up in this area, and there's this giant band on the radio called The Gods, G-O-D-Z. And I just loved them so much. It was really heavy for that time. We all know what was happening in the late 70s, all that disco and like watered down pop stuff. So this band called The Gods come out. It was earth changing to me. And all these years later, I get to pay, pay tribute to them by singing their tunes. So I've got that going on, and BAM! I got uh, the best of Joey C. Jones, available on DemonDollRecords.com. 21 songs, all killer, no filler. Songs that I wrote and recorded with Brittany Nelson, Robin Zander, CC from Poison, and the late great Mark St. John from Kiss. Awesome. And some Glory Hound stuff. Great CD, I'm proud of it. Bam, I have it, Robert. <laughs> You're a guy who gave me one in the car. Oh, you, 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 you can have two, Robert. Anyway, that is all that I have going. <laughs> other than I'm wearing an ankle monitor and at about 7.30 it's going to go off. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, just kidding. <laughs> so, Joey, anybody that may not be uh, familiar with you and your music, so tell us a little bit about like, like when you started, you know, where does where it yeah. come from and where you're at now? Um, I got really lucky in the mid 80s. Uh, me and a couple of uh, uh, Lynn Chris Sheridan, we grew up in that little hibbly town I was talking about. I don't think they had sex with their cousins though. No. <laughs> anyway, we, we ended up in uh, LA and we had a band called Sweet Savage. We did well. Uh, thanks to our friend Kelv, Kelv Hellridge, or that uh, CD. Well, it was an album in those days when I'm talking about vinyl. That ended up number one, 16 weeks in the European, uh, in the US import charts over in Europe. So I started with that, and then the uh, Shock 2 thing, as I told you, that I did with Nielsen Zander, we did well. Then I had Joey C. Jones and the Glory Hounds, and one of the songs that I had originally done with Nielsen Zander, we re-recorded that song, and we ended up get, kind of getting really good. A lot, a lot of miles with that. Oh, in MTV. terms of radio, MTV, we, we played a bunch of festivals. So that's what I've done, and I'm still at it, because I'm not worth a damn in anything else. So I'm just still hanging in there. That's awesome, man. That's Thank you, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So, Wiley, what, what are you up to these days, man? Well, real other quick, than looking great. Well, real quick before I go to that, hey, if you get a chance to go see this Gods and Rosies, you got to go see it. It's, it's great, man. I'm probably going to fly up to go I see this because so. it's just awesome. It was a few years back 
uh, Joe and I, we flew, uh, we didn't fly, we actually drove, we all but made record time Ooh. until I had to go see the gods, Angel, Ooh. and Snake Rock. That's right, Snake Rock, I love yeah, Snake so, Rock. So, was this out in California? Snake Rock, no, no, this is in, in Ohio, oh, gosh. so we were in uh, Columbus, and we made record time drive yes. to, to get there for this. It was he awesome. broke all my brother's driving records. I thought those records would never be broken in terms of finding a way to go 1,050 miles in 15 hours. That's impressive. The yeah. guy, the guy barely <laughs> let, let me pee. And, and, and I have the bladder of a schoolboy, and yeah. I hope I don't get caught with it. You just hand you a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but if you get a chance, please go see the show, because it's going to be. Now, where's the show going to be again? Columbus, Ohio, at the legendary Al Rosa. Awesome. Thank you. He wanted me to go yeah. with him. He was going to pay me. To so, him, and now he changed his mind. <laughs> what I'm up to these days is uh, finally Brand New Machines back. We're working on a new record. We're right. writing. Right. We're really pushing in. We started a, a little bit back and then we kind of slowed to a halt. And then now we've kind of regained some momentum again. Awesome. So, real excited about uh, making some progress there. New tunes and stuff. So, so who's the really members in the Brand New Machine with you? Okay, so in Brandon Machine is Brantley Thompson on vocals, Michael Thomas on guitars, and Seven Antonopoulos nice. on drums. Nice, man. So, Trans great lineup, and uh, the guys are great, and we're having a blast, and we just got back from playing some shows up north. We were up in Wisconsin and um, uh, Chicago, Illinois area. How's it going, eh? <laughs> and Robert's neighborhood. Yeah, yeah right. where Robert's from. So we were supposed to take me to that too and put me out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were going to bring Robert along to that show, but it ended up turning into some quick fly dates, all backline. And so they we're going to hide me in the suitcase. So, so for weight. That is true. I was going to stuff him in the suitcase. <laughs> so are, you guys on, are you guys working on any new material? <laughs> yes, that's that's what our main focus is right now working on some new material. We're hitting a few shows here and there, a couple festivals, but um, our focus is on new material right now. Awesome, man. Bow it down, so, Ivy. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about that. We have a few songs that are in the can. Robert's heard a few of those, I think. They're really good. But, um, and we had a few other ones, and then we kind of changed directions just a little bit, so now we're back kind of focused uh, writing on that. So that's where that project's going. That's awesome. Uh, also working with uh, a chick from The Voice TV that we actually did a show in Dallas it was about a year and a half ago or so. Um, so, but sh she was from The Voice Holland, and um, I've been back and forth working with her. Awesome, yeah, her artist name is Danny Black. Her Holland name is Denise Vandergold. That's a great name. And yeah. actually, that's a great yeah. name. So, actually, the old place. Before That's here, mm -hmm. they practice. Yeah, we rehearsed at your old place in um, Carrollton. No, 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 no. Dallas. It never took off. In Addison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's right. And, in and Addison, we we brought her. We had her in town, and we went over and uh, did some rehearsal in that space. Right on. Uh, get ready to do the one show we had here, and we were recording some tracks for some of her singles. Um, we actually, it was great. My first recording experience with her, we were in Whistle Lord. Uh, in Rotterdam, which is world famous, everybody from the Stones Rotterdam. and White Snake, all those bands rec cool. recorded in Whistle Lord. I mean, it's basically going into a castle to record. Wow. And the gear and the vintage stuff, I mean, it, the history that was in there, it's just an incredible experience. Sounds great. Sounds but awesome. um, anyway, did a few tracks there and it's been great. Uh, look forward to that and heading back there soon. Uh, heading over to Amsterdam for some shows and that'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast and I mean, yes, I Besides on. that, you know, I'm always, you know, getting picked up, you know, I guess I'm Falling in that hired gun kind of space now and getting picked up for different shows it keeps you different playing. bands keeps me active and, yeah. and I really enjoy it and That's really it Right on man, and then Wiley also has a rehearsal place out. But what he really wants to do is direct. He wants to direct. direct. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I do have a small rehearsal space and stuff, but nothing like this place. This place is off the chart. And I need to tell people. Can we have a round of applause from the uh, three guests here for uh, this joint? Yes. <laughs> it, it is. No, thanks. I had that in the Army. <laughs> I'm glad that 
Yeah, he caught it. Eh? <laughs> but it's, it's no. really, really a, a great space. I, I came over to the space when you first got it, and you were just starting to gut it and kind of turn this into the vision that you yeah, had. It was a mess. And to see it from then to now, it's it is incredible. It's breathtaking. Yeah, for me, great. kind of playing in this space a little bit. Um, it is it is really nice to see that um, somebody has a vision that can take it to that really next level, and the bands around town are lucky to have somebody like you because yeah. I have <laughs> rehearsed all over the country <laughs> in different facilities and and the the Midwest and you know out in California, right. here Nashville, all the way east coast. And there's nothing like what this exactly is. Absolutely, I agree. And this is like it on any one of them, the best one that I've ever been into or I think I've been into, this is it times 10 on steroids. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate so, it. That's good to know. And, and so if you're in the DFW uh, area or you're traveling through and need a rehearsal space, I actually spent Damn. a little bit of time in his hourly big live room yeah, you can't get a better system, Fabulous. better setup. It's it's really awesome. So if you get a chance, you need to come by and at least tour it and check it out. Yeah, I mean, and my, my, my point of doing this too is it wasn't to compete and come in here and try to show off, man. I'm a fan. You don't have any competition. I, I love here. music. This guy's got a killer. And, yeah, no I, competition. I enjoy here, buddy. All the bands that are in here, because dude, I can go down the hall, man, and jam on anything I want at any time. And dude, I love that. That's awesome. I mean, I, I'm a fan of music. I'm a fan of all of you guys. I mean. I've become friends with, with you guys over the years and man it's, it's just a it's an honor to have you guys here today and uh, man it's, this place is a blessing to me and i hope uh, dallas takes advantage of the place they, oh, they will and make sure you tell them robert saying because I, <laughs> I get 50 bucks every time someone comes up. <laughs> awesome robert gets all the credit and i need the money so there you go even more than the architect of the structure it's all robert <laughs> <laughs> And that's a good segue to go in. Yeah, this is Robert with Rise Above, man. Robert, you're up, man. So uh, I've been writing some songs with Joey that are coming out really well. Um, they're fabulous. They are. They're great. He awesome. stole, <laughs> we wrote a song together and he stole a line from it for his band. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it works. Hey, it happens. Oh, yeah. No, but it was funny because he told me he did it. And then I heard him do it and I'm like, oh, that, that's a line. That was the one. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of recording. Um, we're actually going to have it mixed and mastered by Ryan Green, who he knows well. I do. Awesome. And, uh, you know, we're doing, playing with Saigon Kick, Saigon Kick on the 30th, and then hopefully uh, have some more coming up. That's going to um, be at, at the trees, correct? Yep, yeah, the trees. That's going to be an awesome show. It'll be fun. And then uh, working on some more shows. And then he's gonna sneak me in a suitcase when he when they go all over mm -hmm. again, especially when they go to Europe. That'd be fun. You, you'll fit. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hold him up right I away. I just gotta lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, you know it's easy to get him in the suitcase. I mean, we've we've actually you know we're packing the trailer, getting ready to go on the road. We always mm -hmm. leave a small little spot in the back corner of the trailer. <laughs> it's locked. easy. He's compact. Put him in and hit they've, the road. They've <laughs> actually locked me in there and drove for a couple miles and then let me out. <laughs> That's a great and then, Why don't you tell me a story about the cabinet fell on me and you guys were too busy to <laughs> laughing at me, and, take, laughing well, at me and taking pictures. That's not good. It, it and just let me sit there. Well, the, <clears throat> keep the story short. We were out playing some shows here in Texas and uh, Robert decided he was going to unload one of my 810 MPEG cabinets out of the trailer. And he started out really good and he's. He's rolling on towards the club, the back door, you know, the side entrance yes. or whatever. And it transitioned for a piece off the the main parking lot into kind of a little bit of gravel and then back onto concrete <laughs> where, right before you go into the club, almost like a little patio area for the club, but you had to transition on that surface. As soon as he dropped <laughs> off the parking lot, down he went. No. With the cabinet, and we just saw feet and arms flailing. <laughs> and he was hollering, and of course, oh my God. only thing that happened was everybody that was around pulled their phone out, Take like we do these days. We didn't have you see anything yeah, right. funny, dramatic, traumatic. It doesn't matter what it is. It happens. You pull your phone out, take a 
video or a photo real quick. So he's over there flailing, trying to get his breath, getting needing help, and everybody's just putting their phone out. Uh -huh. Nobody one time finally somebody's like, Oh man, let's get this off him. Exactly. Of course, that wasn't me. Oh, no, so no, I was going to leave it. Yeah. You're going to have to work true. your way out. And, uh, <laughs> so that, that's a good one. This guy's getting tattoos, and this, this lady, uh, she called the dragon lady. He's telling me to give her help. I'm doing it. She told me to shut up, light bulb. Well, unfortunately, that stuck with for a while. These guys are, where were you? LA? When you got in front of that light bulb store and you took pictures and said, eh, yes. up at it. <laughs> no, all Robert, it was go see store. your family. Yeah. All, all it is is a, a whole a whole store of just all you see is light bulbs. And I'm like, you guys suck. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that worked. We got too many we got too many stories from that stuff. There's tons. So, so over the years, have you guys got to do a lot of shows together? Oh, no, we've never done them. He, no. he blows me up all the time. So. Why so, did I have done yeah, shows together? Yeah. yeah, Joe and I, we've done multi, I don't, I don't oh, know how many shows. It's tons and tons of shows awesome. together. We looked and sounded fabulous, darling. Trust yeah. me. And uh, Robert's band and bands I've been we've done shows on the same bill together. Right. And stuff. I don't think we've never played live together. I think we did it that tornado benefit, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I think we did. We he's got up and we've done some songs together, but yeah. Um as far as the band stuff, um I, I think Robert's band's played with, with all of our bands. Yeah. Oh, At yeah. some point we've all Top played yeah. Our, yeah. you know, on the same builds and stuff together. It, but Joe and I have played a lot of shows together. Because we're yeah. good. <laughs> That's awful, man. So wait, I got another story of this guy. So I forgot where the hell we were, and uh, Brantley and someone else in the band were Kenny, Mr. Airhead, texting this person, and they show up at the hotel. Well, him and Darren asked me to take him to breakfast. He's in the car with me. Darren starts talking to the girl. He goes, "Screw it, leave. Come on." I'm like, "What about Darren? Fuck Darren." Remember that? <laughs> we went to Whataburger. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Well, right on, man. Well, I want to thank you guys again for coming out. I really yeah. appreciate it, man. You guys be sure to go check out their music, Joey C. Jones. Yes. Brand New Machine and Rise Above. Man, I want to thank you guys for rocking, giving us all good music to listen to over the years. Man, we appreciate you guys. Y'all yeah. yeah. get a chance, come out and see us at the Platinum Music Complex located at 2964 LBJ, Dallas, Texas, 75. Two, three, four. Tell them Robert sent you. Yeah, tell them Robert sent you. What a fabulous <laughs> facility. What a fun time. Hey, hey. guys. I love IB. IB, I'm his biggest fan. I love Robert. You're a good man. Thank, thank you, Mr. Brains behind the board back there. <laughs> what people don't know is you're actually I got a way about it. And he's probably one of the best soulful singers that I've ever heard. Really? What's, the, what's the name of your band? Uh, seven Days from Sunday. We do Christian rock. Awesome. And and it, it's he blew me away the first time I heard him. And uh soulful vocals are really missing in today's music. Definitely. Definitely. Me and Joey just scream. Yes, we're, we're no, taking we're taking No, time. actually I scream and I'm quite soulful. But I gotta <laughs> check out this stuff. Yeah. No, definitely have to take it. Hey, soulful so, scream. Oh. Hey Joe, take us out with the pterodactyl and then we'll we'll call it. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Man, let's start over here with Joey, man. Go ahead and uh, share your social media where people can contact you. It's always been a challenge to me. Okay, I got thejoeycjonesband.com. I have Joey Crabtree Jones on Facebook. I'd use my real name there, which blows everything. You can reach me there. Uh, I'm all over the place. I'm easy to find. Thank you for letting, letting me plug that. Cool. Uh, like so, uh, brandnewmachine.net is our website and of course uh facebook.com brand new machine all one word um b and m band on twitter and instagram and all that uh you can catch us on any of those right. platforms and uh you can find all of our music and stuff on any of the streaming sites pandora iHeartRadio, um spotify google play Right. Apple Music, all those things you can find all of our material and and right on. Should let me go first because they're killing me. Uh, Robert, where can we find you? Facebook, <laughs> Rise and Bone on Facebook. Uh, we do have a website, but I'm locked out of it, so don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make that up, man. 
<laughs> my opinion makes love, love me out of all those sides hey, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'm not making, I can't make that up. Hey, and uh, hopefully we're going to get with the guys. We can get some music videos from maybe, and hopefully they'll uh, be following this uh, interview here, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon. Shame. We're 